All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I want to show a kind of a really complex uh, idea here. Uh, I can see that this side of the dollar bill, or I guess the million dollar bill, is the front side. And this has a different picture on the back. Okay, now what's neat about this is that this is a single plane. It's paper thin. There is no extruded edge. So I feel like if you were going to do dynamics, you would want to have a different face on the front and the back. But how do we do that on a single polygon? Um, so what I'm, what I'm talking about is having a texture on the front side of the face and then on the reverse side of the face having a different texture. So let's kind of dive in and kind of see how that's done. So... I can actually see that in the viewport it actually does not look correct okay in the viewport it looks like this and when I click on this you can see that once again it's paper thin uh, it's kind of like a magic trick I'm not uh, deceiving you it is totally paper thin so let's let's kind of take a look at that so I'm just gonna go file new scene um, well actually let, let's just do this I'm gonna just delete this bend handle out of here and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say file um, just get this to a regular Lambert. Okay, cool. So I made, um, this is my, we'll call this the dollar bill. And if I go to UV, UV editor, um, if I click on this, I can see that that's how it's UV'd. Okay, so now this is interesting because I feel like once again, here's the front side of the face, here's the back side of the face. Um, so I don't have a position for the front of the UV and the back of the UV. Now, I could do that if I extruded thickness, but in this case, I don't want thickness. I just want a different image on the back. So let's take a look at how that would be done. So what I would do is I'm going to go into the hypershade, and in the hypershade, I'm going to construct the shader. So I can see that I that was a, kind of a hint to where we're headed with this. And um, I don't think it's necessarily obvious, but I feel like anytime you run across a scenario that it kind of falls outside the normal rules, I'm going to go like this. This is how I'm going to construct this. I'm going to go down to um, Arnold, and I'm just going to go to Shader, and I want an AI standard surface. Okay. Now, the problem is that I need to kind of plug in two color maps here. I can't just plug in one because it's going to be the front or the back, so I need to do two. Plus, I need to do the reverse normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the utility nodes over here. Maybe I'll just make this bigger. If I go into the utility nodes, I'm going to come down to the sampler info node. And when I grab this sampler info node, I can see that flip normal is really the key of what I want here. And flip normal is saying the reverse side of a face. Okay. Now, the other one that I want is, uh, let me see, um, color. The other one that I want is blend colors right here. Okay. Now, blend colors allows us to have um, a front and a back. And the blender is kind of like saying, hey, which what's important? I'm going to say flip normal. That's my blender. Okay. And or I'm going to say Blender to Flip Normal. There we go, like that. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, and now I'm going to put this to my base color. And you can see here right now, um, on this one, I have red and blue. Okay, now if I look in the viewport, let's see what's happening here. So if I press 6 to show textures, uh, let me see, press... Oh, I have to assign the material. So let's let's see what this is called right now. This is called, um, if I click on this, I'm just going to call this uh, dollar bill material. Okay, cool. So now if I click on this and if I assign dollar bill material. Now if I look here, you may have been expecting it to be blue on the bottom, right? Now you're thinking, hey, Dave's a liar. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. So if I go into Arnold, open Arnold Render View, and if I hit play on this, I can see that one side is blue and the other side is red. Okay, so it is working. 
I feel like kind of a cool way to see this without kind of like going like that is if I take this and I'm just going to add a bend deformer and this is something that you don't have to do but I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go into nonlinear bend and then I'm going to rotate this holding down J snap it well there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of give it some curvature so I can see that one side and then bring this side down there we go now I can kind of see one side and the other side at the same time so once again if I open up Arnold render view I can see that aha one side is red and one side is blue okay now I only have if I go into UVs right it only makes sense that hey I've got UVs here so what I did was I went to um, with this selected in object mode I went to um, image UV snapshot then opened it in Photoshop this is it in Photoshop here the UV snapshot and then I went and grabbed I just found this like online or I just actually scanned my uh, money that I had in my wallet here and then I just went like this uh, control C to copy that and then went here control V to paste it control T and then holding down shift kind of make this bigger and then I'm gonna align this like that okay then I'm gonna save this as front and then I'm gonna do this again Except, except this time with the back one. So I'm going to grab this one, control C, and then control V, and then make this one bigger. And put it right there. Okay. And now I'm going to save that one as back. So I already did that. So now if I come in here, now what I can do is I have two places that I can plug that in, right? Because of this blend colors. I can plug in one and the other. So if I click on this one, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say Front. Aha, there's the front. And then if I click on the other one, so once again, if I click on this one, I'll go to File, and then I'm going to do Back. Okay, great. There we go. So now you can see that what I have here is I have two files. I have the front of the dollar bill and the back of the dollar bill. And I have it blended by the flip normal, all plugged into the color. So now let's see how we're doing here. Once again, we can't really trust the viewport. It's looking pretty good right now. But if I go into this, open Arnold Render View and hit play. I can see that, hmm, let's see, okay, so that's the back, and this is the front. I can also see that the front is reversed, so that's not really what I want. I feel like I want this to be the front for whatever reason, and I want this to be the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and swap that first. So what I'll do is I'm going to come here, and I know that I have them reversed now, so I'm going to swap that with the back. Okay, so here's the back back and then I'll go to the other one and that was the back so I'm gonna put this one to front okay and now let's take a look here once again I don't trust this at all so I'm gonna to go to open Arnold render view and that's right down here okay and now I can see yes that's the front of the bill this is the back of the bill but I can still see that the back is not uh, correct and that's because it's it's literally the re reverse normals right so I feel like it it makes sense and I can't flip the UV shell because it's one in the same so what I'm gonna do is open up Photoshop and on the back of the bill I'm just gonna select that and I'm gonna go um, edit transform flip horizontal and then I'm gonna save that I'm gonna save that as back flip okay now, if I come back to Maya, um, now I'm going to go back into my hypershade. Here it is. And I can see that that was the front. Here's the back. So I'm just going to put on back flip. Aha, there's back flipped. Now, if I take a look at this, uh, I'm just going to stop and restart. Aha, 
that back is perfect and the front is perfect. So what's nice about this is that if I have dynamics happening, I'm not going to alter my dynamics by, by needing to extrude a little bit of thickness there. Um, my dynamics are going to work perfectly and I feel like visually it's going to work perfectly. Now, just kind of a word of caution. Um, if this is going into a video game, if I go to shading, back face culling, uh, sometimes um, you got to be mindful that the back side of the face will not show and show up as invisible, okay, as I'm seeing here. So if you know that your render engine is going to do that, I really wouldn't recommend this method. Um, but if you know that that's not an issue and it can render literally both sides, this can be a good trick. So if you're going to be rendering it like in Maya or um, if you know that your final render engine can handle that, then that can be, uh, this could be kind of a cool trick. Maybe you've got like leaves or um, I think this dollar bill is a good example because once again, it, the front side and the back side have to be different. Like on a leaf, you could probably get away with it being exactly the same on both sides. But I feel like this is um, a cool example there. So hopefully that was helpful. If this was helpful, uh, leave a comment below and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you next time.